Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Team Not Loud Creeper here, and today we're back with our Redstone tutorial. I did miss out on the tutorial on Friday, so this is the, the one that will replace it. And yeah, so let's just get started with it and ignore those diamonds. Yep, you don't see those. Uh, if I can. Do it right. <laughs> okay, who cares? Up, up, just get out of here. Okay, so how this machine works is so we can throw in the item and then we go to hit the button, it will open and we can go in. It will also close back behind us. So we actually, let's actually go in there and then go in here allows us to go through close it and we can click this button in here and we can walk back outside so it's pretty simple to build so just should we crack over the tutorial probably yeah and i'm just gonna yep this this redstone this redstone totally did not work Oh, let me just do that again. There we go. So. Let's go and sh let me show you guys how to build all this. So what you're going to need is 11 redstone dust. 2 redstone torches. 1 redstone repeater. 4 redstone comparators. 2 sticky pistons. 5 hoppers. 1 dropper. 2 chest. 2 buttons of your choice and 64 blocks of your choice so we'll start off with our wall so uh where you're gonna place uh where your thing is or whatever yep where your lock is gonna be where you throw it put in your item so place in a five block grid right there now miss just uh as you see i misplaced one block get out your dropper place it facing behind us behind the wall not so this is going to be the side where we play press the button now what we're going to do is going to come behind here we're going to place in a block right here temporary block and then chest dig out this block and then place a chest in there and we can break this block I'll be, and then place in two hoppers just a bit like that then dig out a hole these two blocks then dig out uh, a block a block like that then dig out a two wide by three long by one deep hole just so like that clear out this area we can actually yeah and then now place a block temporarily place a hopper running into that break it then place two hoppers running straight into them if i can ever get that working like that and make sure you're shift clicking it so you don't open gi and then now we're gonna take start placing our redstone components so placing a redstone comparator on this block behind this uh hopper that's facing into nothing Place in two blocks, just a bit like that. Place in, not a redstone torch. Place in two pieces of redstone dust like that. With a redstone torch. And a piece of redstone dust like that. Then what you want to do is come over here. Place a redstone comparator. And I'm sorry, actually you want to dig out these blocks. And replace these two blocks with a repeater. Then a comparator and a comparator like that. Then place in two pieces of redstone dust. Two p and then oops, place in a block and then a redstone dust. Dig out these two blocks. Place in two pieces of redstone dust. A torch on this block and a block on top with your two sticky pistons like that and two blocks on it for a door frame. Then what you want to do is dig out this block, place redstone dust in it, just 
and then a block up like this, a piece of redstone this like that, then two blocks up like this, you get your remaining button, place it on that, and that should be the whole contraption. So test out the button, so it should, like that, and it should close, and it should make a noise when you hit this button. So, that is the contraption complete. Now all we have to do is configure it. So at the start of the video, I use diamonds. So you can use anything you want. I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use emeralds. You can use anything, you can use like dirt, iron, wool, lapis, just get anything. Get that, I get six, uh, 22 of that item. And actually 23 of that item. And then what you want to do is place in four like this. Then place in the remaining. It should drop one. That's exactly what we want. And that is the construction complete. So now we can just go ahead and test it. So when you throw in the item, click the button. It should open. Then close. Give us It gives us enough time. And we'll click the button. It doesn't give as much time. And... If you want it to actually give us enough, enough, enough time, you have to make this exact circuit over here, and then run it to the redstone torch, or you can connect the redstone up into this circuit right here, this comparator weird circuit that I'll explain just in a second. So right now, it's time to... My mic keeps doing that. Okay. Right now, I'm going to explain how everything works. So... We're going to start off with the emeralds or whatever you have. So what, right when we place in the item in this dropper, and when we hit the button, so I'm do that, the pistons will retract. So what it's doing, and by the way, when you throw in a random item like this one, it, does, it doesn't do anything, and it's gone forever. So it maybe if you do like dirt or wool, and then someone throws in diamond, then you'll have then you'll get some free diamonds and that'll be awesome and by the way the the items that don't fit like that you didn't use for example i used emeralds and i threw a wool block in and it didn't work so for example where the items that don't fit so like white wool i'm just gonna throw it in here that don't fit goes into this top chest so as you can see and and the items that fit so the emeralds goes into the bottom chest chest so i didn't i uh, really spaced out how where everything goes like where you can get the items but you probably can do that yourselves and make it all work so right when we press the button and launch the item this item uh, i'm gonna talk the about how the emerald how the right item so when we place in the emerald or whatever the right item is so the correct item is so it launches it into this hopper then detects oh i'm an emerald or whatever you have and goes down to this hopper right here then it and by the way when the hop when uh the comparator detects it had had 23 items so right now it's 22 so it has 18 19 20 21 22 and when it detects 23 items it will give a signal strength of two which means it will power this uh redstone does it unpowered redstone torch, unpowered this redstone, and allows one item drop. And if you have remember, if we, if you remember, we have placed an item right here. I've uh, thrown 23, so one would drop down here, cause due to that, this redstone does power the block, which is also stopping this. I, I didn't have a way to fix that, but I guess that's how everything works. But, and then, um, powers this torch so the item goes in pushes that item in that hopper uh pushes it in pushes the other one into this hopper then goes into this chest so that's how it comes in this chest but at the same time when it goes through this hopper this comparative text it sends a signal to the repeater into these two redstone dust right here then runs into this circuit known as a post extender. So there are many ways to do it, but this is one of the simplest ways. So the comparator powers this block, 
which powers these two redstone dust, unpowers this torch, unpowering all the pistons so we can walk through, and and when how the uh post extender works is I'm gonna give a quick demonstration right here. So when we do, this is how the circuit looks like redstone dust. There are many ways to do this, but this is one of the ways. So as you can see, if we press F3, the redstone, if we look at it again, oops, I am just, yeah. and then as you can see, if we can get it the right angle. And as you can see right here, the power goes down. So if we do this and then do that, as you see the power goes down right here. Because what it is doing is when we power it, it powers. So the redstone current comes in here. It cycles to this comparator into this block and it redstone does. And the comparator does it again. So it mine subtracts one power and then keeps going around and around and around until it gets to zero. So that's how that works. It runs in this pulse extender. So it goes until it has zero power. Which Unpowers the redstone, powers the torch again, and extends the pistons. And this button just simply unpowers the torch. And I recommend using a wooden button so you have a long pulse. And by the way, this is just a little bit of an extension. If you want to make a longer pulse, like how that thing is, just connect the redstone up like that. Connect the redstone up. Actually, actually, you know what? You're gonna connect it like that. Yeah, so. No, you can't do that. What am I thinking? Like that. Yeah, just a bit like that. Sorry, uh, yeah. Like that, and we'll click the button. You see, we have a way longer pulse than we had. And that is pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit a like and subscribe for more of these videos and more gameplay and other stuff videos. But I guess I will see you guys and, and catch you guys on another video or Minecraft video or Roblox video or whatever that is. And peace out guys.